Good morning. Today I'll be talking about the effects of religion on society's collective beliefs. My topic of discussion today is, are society's collective beliefs of a culture different from their own influenced by religious beliefs? After conducting extensive research, I've concluded that yes, society's collective beliefs of a culture different from their own are impacted by religion. Before I talk about how they are how they are influenced, I'd like to take a step back and ask the question of what is a religion? A religion by definition is a belief in a superhuman figure or what we know as a god. There are over 4,200 religions in the world today with the main ones being Islam, Christianity, and Hinduism. Now that we've established what a religion, are, what a religion is, I'd like to focus on historic events and their impact on religion. So, my first historic event is the tragedy of 9-11. As, as you may already know, 9-11 tragedy shaped Western civilization's uh, view on Islam in many ways. There were, um, after 9-11, the response towards Muslims was fairly aggressive. And um, actually, in an interview, a Muslim by the name of Lila Abu Lalan said and described the thirst for knowledge about Muslim women to be insatiable. This is because media outlets look for news about, really, about uh, socio-political events that are occurring in the world today and try and express it as well as they can in order to increase their publicity. So it's not a matter of credibility as much as it is, as much as it is publicity. Um, post 9-11, many hate crimes towards Muslims happened, and a research report by the FBI detailed that there was a 28% increase in all hate crimes related to Muslims in the year 2002 alone. Now, there were approximately 200 hate crimes before 2001, and in 2002 alone, there were over 500. So, while 9-11 was a tragedy, Muslims were not the first religious group to be stereotyped against because of their religion. Well, um, An infamous event during 1939 was the oppression of Jewish citizens by the German society and people, solely because of their religion. The media conveyed propaganda against them, degrading them, and calling them many different names, similar to the way that Muslims were degraded post 9-11. Jewish citizens were also forced into concentration camps and out of their homes, where they were often tortured and killed. Now, the media plays a very large role in essentially uh, building the views that society has of religious groups. And the way the media does this is by shaping their views through what they project. A former religion editor, Barney Zwartz, when, um, said when asked about his perspective of how Muslims were portrayed by the media, he said that he felt much of the media demonized them and portrayed them negatively and centralized them. And this is because the media had no other way of looking at them except through the lens that 9-11 provided them. And as people wanted to know more and more about Muslims, the media shaped their views through propaganda, excessive propaganda that bashed 9-11 and Muslim, the Muslim religion as a whole. Um, in another article, Gregory Dean, who also studied marketing and social media as a whole and its influence in society, said, the moods and attitudes of our society are influenced by messages delivered through mass media channels. And this is true because as more and more people look to these big news sources to find their information on religious groups, they're greeted by many um, offensive and obscene posts related to them, as well as many um, people's political views, even though they might not always be right. 
So different perspectives depends on where you're looking at it and what lens you're looking at it. Some people may have logical, well-thought-out perspectives of a religion or a culture group as a whole as a result of the socio-political experiences they had with them. If they've had good experiences with them, then they would often feel better about the culture as a whole and have a well-thought-out, well, well logical approach towards the culture and be able to convey this properly. Media groups um, also present different perspectives that range from being offensive and um, set out to liberal and, well, not very um, biased. And not all, not all uh, citizens of Western culture post 9-11 or post Holocaust or whatever the socio-political event may be felt as if um, they had to have negative views towards the culture. Um, so Miriam Negas, an executive director uh, at the Institute of Social Policy and Understanding, has highlighted how Muslims were essentially put into a collective group regardless of what they've done towards society. Whether they're good citizens, bad citizens, or they're terrorists, they were all labeled as one. They were all labeled as terrorists and slandered just because of the religious beliefs that they held. And even though people's uh, perspectives of a culture may vary, it's really about what the media perceive, and what the media relays and conveys about a religious group. So the opposing argument is, is fairly simple. Some people believe that mass media channels do not, vo do not voice negative opinions, but rather factual statements that are based off of the socio-political agendas of safe cultures and religious groups. However, mass media, mass media groups only convey what is going to give them publicity as opposed to what's credible and what's actually going on in the world today. Another opposing argument may state that stereotypes are rather based off of certain people's, group, people's ideas and perspectives as opposed to the collective belief. And this is wrong because people generate their own bias and ideas based off of what they see in the media and in the world today. And if the media is presenting biased um, opinions that slander said religious groups, the people are most likely going to carry said beliefs. So in conclusion, I believe that yes, Society's perceptions of a culture with a religion different from their own are heavily impacted by the media, by historic events and socio-political events occurring in relation to the religious groups, as well as um, their own beliefs and morals, as people have a method of judging and understanding and formulating their own opinions based off of said, based off of whatever they perceive and see in the media. Okay. Yeah. So let me um, ask you a couple of um, how valid and reliable are the sources you use, and how do you know? And which sources didn't work? Um, I evaluated many sources, and what I found is the ones that weren't credible, I chose not to use them, as I wouldn't be able to essentially validate them throughout my presentation and my response. And if they weren't credible, I'd throw them out because I wouldn't want a credible, um, a, like non-credible source about such a um such a such a idea a concept such as religion and especially in society today i'd like to just pre perceive and relate credible facts okay um so what might some real world implications be to your findings and how would those implications um affect your community um i feel as if my topic is rather um all based off of the real world and events that are going on and so certain implications may be how people as a, and collectively and individually perceive religious groups as well as how they voice their opinions of said religious groups and I feel like that's like a big thing in every community because it's important to understand the credible facts about a religious group before you like make and formulate a bias. Okay. Um, 